Okay, today is the 10th of November. This is a short video on self-inverse functions. Okay, and we're just going to say a self-inverse function is when f of x equals the inverse. Okay, that's all it is. Um. Yep. Oh, excuse me. How would that happen? Okay, well, I'll show you. Here's an example of a self-inverse function. So show that f of x equals x over x minus 1 is a self-inverse function. All right, so we're going to take this function and we're going to work out its inverse. So first thing we do, Nick? You are going to want to rewrite mm -hmm. the f of x to equal y. Yeah. Nick, and yep, keep going. Then you're going to want to change, flip the x and the y. So it's yep. x equals y over y minus 1. Yep, and you get a mark for doing that. And then you just solve for y. Yes, we're going to solve for y. So how do I solve this for y, Zoe? Yep. Yep, multiplied by y minus 1. So on the left hand side, I've got x multiplied by y minus 1. Multiply the right hand side by y minus 1. We're just left with y. And then what do we do, Greg? Start. What do we do next? Well, let's see. You want to. Yep, expand. <laughs> so x, y minus x equals y. So remember, I'm, I want to rearrange this so it's y equals, but all the y's have to be on the one side, obviously. So next step then, Nick? If I divide by what? x, y? So I divide this by x, y, I get... If I divide by y, I'm going to have x over y here. It's not going to be nice. Similar to the one we did yesterday. I want all my I want all my y's together. Don't overcomplicate. Subtract a y. On each side. I could subtract y, but I've still got these x's. Just subtract x, y from both sides. So I've got negative x equals y minus x, y. I've got all my y's on the one side, okay? But I need it to be y equals, so Factor out y. factorize out my y. I get 1 minus x. And then to make it y equals, it's just going to be negative x over 1 minus x. Is it bad for me to try and spot like a pattern? No, don't. Just do it this way. Yeah. Then our final step to get the last mark is to change your y to. Yes. Now, this is what we have got for our inverse. Now, what I could do is, with this, I could multiply every single term by negative 1. Okay, if I multiply the top line. By negative 1. If I multiply the bottom line by negative 1, am I changing anything here? No, you're just getting to the, the first. Well, you are. You're changing it to the first function. So I'm not, am I changing, am I changing this? No, no, like, it's, it's, it's going to stay the same. Sorry, let me rewrite that. Because 
if I'm divide, if I'm sorry, let me just write this first. Yesterday. That's terrible today. And yesterday. It's even worse today. What is it doing? All right, so if I'm multiplying the top by negative one and multiplying the bottom by negative one, I am effectively multiplying by what? One. One, okay, because negative one over negative one is one. So it's not changing this at all, okay? So what's negative x multiplied by negative one? X. X. What's this negative x multiplied by negative one? X. What's one multiplied by negative, negative one? Okay, and this is equal to our original function. So that tells us, it shows us that it is a self-inverse function. Okay? Is that okay, Nick? I can tell you're not sure about something. No, I'm What? No, it's good. I was just thinking about it. It's fine. You sure? Yeah, no, I got it. Okay, now what is this visually going to look like? The the function and the inverse. Oh, I, yeah, they're going to be the same, obviously. But well, you should be able to tell me something specifically if I go to Desmos. It's going to be linear. It's not going to be linear. It's not going to be linear. So we said the inverse and the function are always symmetrical about what line? X equals y. Right, yes, x equals y, so or y equals x. So if I draw this, so x divided by x minus 1, okay, that is my function, and I can see if I put in the line y equals x, it is perfectly symmetrical about this line, okay? The inverse equals the function. Yeah. So it's really important that you remember that the function and its inverse are symmetrical about this line, y equals x. Off the top of your head, can you give me another self-inverse function? Yes. Go. Um, uh, x equals <coughs> y equals x. Y equals x is a self-inverse function because... Oh, basic. I was thinking of something yeah. like it is I mean, it a self-inverse function. Yeah. And here's another one. Y equals negative x. Y equals negative x yeah. is a self-inverse function oh, because it's symmetrical by y equals x. Here's another one for you. Y divided by x. Not like that. There we go. That's also a self-inverse function. All right. Uh, so just keep that in mind, all right? Now, what I want us to do today, I'll go back to here, is we're going to continue with these questions that we were on yesterday. So that was on page 96, and then we can have a go at page 99 as well, okay? Page 96 and 99 in the SL book. If you have any questions, give me a shout, okay? And then that's this functions bit done, okay? There's the whole pile of exam questions and review questions also on page 101 onwards, which you can also look at for review. All good? Yeah. All right, let's get cracking.